Hey guys, Lord of Flames here, and there's going to be a lot of things going to happen until Bottle Resurrection is going to come out next year in 2021. Because we still have time, while the script writer is going to work on the script, and we're going to uh, get so many voice actors, and I'm going to work on the full length animation for this movie, since that's going to take a lot of time, so it might give me enough chance to get this movie ready for next year, since. I wish there could be enough chance for me to get an art computer if there's going to be some crutches going on my animator or something because there need to be a chance. This video is going to be about what happens after the House of Fred since I know this is going to lead to the final resurrection but the plot is going to take place three years later. Yeah, it's going to take three years later since I don't want to talk about it a lot but anyways because these three years going to take the middle part of it before Bio Resurrection. Thanks place to those two sequels for House of Red and a little bit to Demonizers. Well, speaking about Demonizers, and those are mostly taking place before the House of Red, so that's nothing about for those two. But what about that short Minecraft movie I did back in 2017 before the end of it called The House? Mostly had a similar name to The House of Red. So that's going to take place after the House of Red since now the house has now been, uh, mostly got been abandoned once again. So it's going to be a few bit people are going in that house to investigate things or something they might try to uh, solve the mystery. But they might soon get attacked by a new type of monster, which is not Nightmare this time. A new type of monster is a little bit similar to Springtrap, but it's not Michael, another type of animatronic creature has been summoned. So. This type of thing's going to happen a lot for this house, and since now the animatronic will be gone to the second movie, and mostly from something about new people looking around the place and having these type of nightmare things when they go to the other type of world dimension that they got been summoned to. And soon, in the third movie, it's going to make the last part we'll ever see the house. Since there used to be an original script ending that idea for what happens to the house. Because after the SAP Foundation left, there are a lot of police around the place. And what they asked about the house, well, they were going to plan on burning it. So that's going to be the idea for the movie. But what happened to the house? And Michael, he's still in the sewers to this very day. He will take three years later. Well, mostly not yet. Because till next year, or better, two years later, you will be soon be found by a new type of secret company who well, might experiment his corpse to create something more dangerous than Michael or Nightmare. Which is not Night Score or anything because he's already dead now since I already showed you that war. So yeah, because there's a thing about their own type of corrupted soul they have in them. It's mostly called the Soul of Nine for Nuts. That their souls are from that type of rock fires or whatnot. So they all created that soulless, and they will soon uh, take so many years after after their souls are mostly getting old and and mostly dying out. So that's why Night Scar is already dead, and that means Michael is the last one we ever have. But until he's already dead now in the House of Fred, because he's very old too. So yeah, so they're all dead now. But what what about the corpse? Well, it still have that type of virus in it. So that means that type of virus that those secret companies are going to use to experiment is going to make things much more, much more terrifying than you could ever imagine. But what about Jenny and Chris? What happened to those two? After they've been captured by the SCP Foundation, they took them to the facility where they're mostly uh, going to do a meet up with SCP-049. But that changed up a bit because that's the idea was close to be for the soul of Michael. But that changed this time on having them to a different room until they going to get experiment by what they have in them that has some dark corrupted after they went to that house. Because remember that scientist said something about they got been corrupted by some type of dark soul or something. What are you doing? You can't keep us here. Oh, but I can. For you see, Chris, what happened all those years ago? There were a lot of spirits, or even one that was the most powerful spirit. That was a nightmare. 
and you and Ginny were living in the house where he was, and some of his blood went into you, and we can't simply let you infect the world. So yeah, close the door. You can't do this, you hear me? You can't do this. I already have. <laughs> and they'll soon get experiment a lot, and it'll take sometimes for years for them to get cured. But how is this going to work? Sometimes they had to uh, figure out some more experiment they had to work to cure them, to get rid of this type of corrupted darkness in them. If one of them may survive, if none of them meant it, they never, never managed to get, never managed to live. <laughs> so yeah, but what about, yeah, who will survive? Well, it's mostly Jenny because Christian never managed to. Because it's a similar idea to the, to the Soul of Michael idea, to the Soul of Michael movie that will kill off Christian in that time. So yeah, so Jenny will live again. So yeah. So Jenny's going to be the only one left to all this, to survive, to, because, will Jenny ever show up in the Bible Resurrection if she's the last character we all know around these five chapters? Well, no, no, she's not going to appear in this movie, not this time, but you already know back in the, or movie, uh, or video I made those, that one, that month ago or week. That shows about these upcoming movies and a little bit plots. So yeah, Jenny is going to appear in the 8th chapter. Mostly uh, the Call of Phantom Descent. So yeah, that she's going to appear in that movie for one last time. It's going to be the final chapter all. So yeah, chapter 8 is going to be the final for the Soulless Knights saga. <laughs> yeah folks, it's going to take a lot of time. Since I couldn't plan on what type of year these movies are going to be released. But yeah, because sometimes we a little bit focusing on those two chapters to uh well mostly three chapters to get ready, but it's going to take some time. Because like how you see these sub original movies are being released, sometimes one release until it take three years for another one to come out, something like that. But we're going to focusing on some other type of sequels for the House of Fred, Demonizers, and the House. So what happens next to those ones? That leaves after the House of Fred, and some before the House of Fred for the Demonizers. So yeah, folks, hope you all enjoyed this video. Because it's it's a type of confusing type of idea about myself explaining what happens to House of Fred because that Jenny Christian gang captured by ACP going to be cured to get experiment a bit, and while Michael's body is still in the sewers. And he will soon be found by secret company three years later. And then, uh, till the house will soon get burned up for another type of movies for the House of Red. So yeah, this idea is going to come up very soon. So this is all folks for this type of thing about what happened to the House of Red movie since the House of Red is the most confusing movie of all, right? But is the House of Fred and the last night movie are going to get remake? Well, <laughs> you'll find out soon enough. If you want an idea, then comment down below. Or if you don't want to because you kind of like the original idea of the House of Fred better, even the last night, then uh, comment down below. And we'll see what happens next. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.